So hi guys, so for this day, uh, another part of the six uh, striking tools that I really love employing. Hey guys, Guru Gani here of Rapid Reduce Mokali and Pagilan Training Group. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you will be notified whenever we upload it new videos. Uh, as, as much as possible, I'll try to upload every week of our training, tutorials, uh, tips, and interviews, and hopefully uh, gear to, to review. So again, uh, please support me in this uh, platform. Okay, so let's go to the video for today. So hi guys, so for this day, uh, another part of the six uh, striking tools that I really love employing. First, we've done the uh, jab and cross second we've done the elbows then the hammering then the knee kick now like I said one of my favorite thing employing striking toes is or my favorite range is close quarter or in a close range so uh, so one of the best tools that I love is headbutt okay so for example I love Oh, I, 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 I'm not just love, I'm loving it because I train much or more of the time in this range, in a clinch range where I can, I'm learning how to control the body of my attacker and learning how to manipulate him. But most of the time, whenever I'm doing it, is they're also controlling me. But whenever they're controlling me, whenever they're controlling me, every time is they open their head. And that's the reason why I'm I love it. And most of the time, I uh, twice on the street, I ended the fight by just doing this. By just doing this. Okay? Uh, Master Henry really teaches us to do this. This or this. I love to do that as long as I'm here. But whenever we're talking like this, I'm gonna snap this one and headbutt you on the head. That's one of the most, uh, uh, for me, one of the most. Uh, Distracted tools. Like I said, I really love being in a close range. And being in a close range, you need you can't be uh, just play around, or you can just con learn how to control. But you need to destroy, destroy anything that uh, closer to you, anything that you can hit. You need to destroy it. You just don't hit it like taking a point. You destroy it from here. Headbutt him. Headbutt him. So one of the best training is clinch range. So where. I'm gonna do this. I can control him. Can not control one. Go from here. Or I can control this. Sometimes I'm switching here. So the uh, swimming thing, you know, the family drills, just for me, that's one of the best, uh, one of the best tools when you're in clinch range. So from here, I can snap it. If I can snap in here, because he's controlling me here, and he's taking away his head, what I do is hit this, okay? Snap it, hit him here with the top of my head. Then from here, I can push this one and hit him here before I can hit him on the head, okay? So, so I want you to focus on that. So let's, for example, let me check on wearing this, okay? For example, from here, from, from snapping, on this. From here, one, I'll snap it. One, two, then I close in. Whenever I'm closing, and he prevented me this. Here, okay. So what I can do is try to control this head, then snap him here. Okay, control, blow it, snap in here. Well, if not, then I can choose this one. Snap here, hit him here, to the top of my head, elbow him before I was able to control him, then hit him. Okay. By the bayada. Okay, sorry, this is my son. Uh, he's not used to being hitting by that. Okay, so again. So just learn this one from here. One, hit the hands, 
from here, keep these shoulders, then from here, double hands, then two hands, control the arms, from here, hit the chest, hit the head, from here, then snap it, hit the head there, if not, they resisted, try to pull this one, hit this, most of the guys says, it's not powerful, it's okay, what you want is to send him a message that you're crazy enough to hit any part of his body. But in this, bite him, ah, snap him here, then snap this, hit him with the head, push him there, then from here, snap his head here, and then head back. Okay, so I want you to train head back. The train solo is not a, you need to condition your body. From here, snap, snap, using the side of this, snap it, from here, elbows, snap, from here, come with elbows, then snap the head, close in, so that's what you want, okay? And one pose of the head as well is, whenever he's punching, one is, you need to just put your head, move, move in, this punch, can destroy this, this is almost just tuck your head, this, then move forward to hit his body, okay? But just don't let them hit you here. So whenever they hit, move, to snap, snap, and hit forward. Not the best advice, but based on my experience, I was able to break the bones of my attacker twice, one, and two, two of this. I was able to control him here and a fight into a boxing fight. Okay, uh, possibly the reason why I do that is I'm scared. I'm scared to be hit here. I'm not uh, training up in that day. So I need to really just touch my body and just let him hit here and move forward because I want to break uh, and control his body. So that's a uh, not the best option, like I said, but uh, you can use that if you're using a burpees strike because you can drop their uh, uh, hand. Because one of the toughest part of, the, uh, of our head is the top of the head, but don't let them hit you here. Okay, so again, head back from this range using top of the head or suwag. Suwag means to just use the top of the head and overrun the free body. You can use it tails. Okay, move forward to the body. Move forward to the head. Snap it from this range. Snap it the top of the head or the top of the forehead to his, uh, we call this, uh, jaw. Okay, then try to twist it. Find the bones, hit it. Okay, that's as well as power up, uh, painful. When you're here, uh, uh, find the softest part of the body, control it in uh, uh, a head body. It's just similar to this, but this is more painful because of us very uh, pointed uh, striking tools. But you can snap it, then uh, create an opening for you to snap it move forward. Okay, so that's the uh, 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 another part of the uh, the six striking tools that I love employing in the street. So, I, uh, again, uh, if you love the the video, I'm sorry. Uh, if I if I'm not uh, sh I don't shoot it or I don't show it uh, that accurate or not doing good on this uh, because I I'm mostly shooting it without a plan. Uh, I don't shoot it without with a script. I just don't I shoot it with what in my mind so hopefully soon I can uh, shoot a script and I write a script and shoot it uh, uh, with that thing so it can be more detailed and more uh, progressive and, and more better for you guys but like I said I sh I'm, I'm shooting uh, in uh, uh, shooting and uh, operating the Rapid Release Mukali online training program which is the level 1 and level 4 Rapid Release Mukali uh, we're opening it online if you want to learn from us uh, and train at home 
uh, and you don't have any Rapidurus Mukali near to you or uh, Filipino martial arts near to your place, you can join us online. So message us or email us at rapidurismukali.info at gmail.com. Okay guys, so again, so thank you uh, for uh, joining us, me, uh, join us here. If you like the video, please like it, sh uh, comment down below, share it to your friends, and sub subscribe. Okay? Thank you, and see you in the next one.